Good morning. Uh, there's something new here. I just can't... Uh... Oh, we're on a catamaran. This is Lucy 2. She's a 2014 Alpha 42. There were only four of these boats ever built, but we were lucky enough to get the chance to sail her down in the Keys for the next three weeks. We have a lot of fun and sail her in some pretty strong winds. So let's give you a tour of the boat we're sailing through the Keys. So welcome to season four of Sailing Doodles. I'm excited to get it going here. Uh, and I already know the first question you're gonna ask, it's, it's not what's the boat, it's where's Laura. You guys are so predictable. I mean, just, yeah, no, she, uh, but seriously though, uh, it is sad. Her, her grandfather passed away a few days ago, so she's uh, up with her family, kind of taking care of that whole scene. Um, it's very sad. Uh, if you wouldn't, you know, you can reach out, leave a comment below, sharing your love and your condolences. I'm sure she would much appreciate that. So on to your second question. Uh, what's with the beard? Is that, guys, come on. You guys are so easy with these. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Uh, your third question is probably the boat, though. What is the boat? This is Lucy. She's an Alpha 42. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we have a great viewer. His name's Jamie. He actually owns the boat, and he reached out to us and said, hey, you guys want to come sail for a little bit? Um, the boat is for sale, and it is for charter down here in Fort Lauderdale. We're at Fun in the Sun Charters down here. They're kind of managing the boat. So if you want to read, we'll try to talk to their... Uh, uh, the owner of that a little later and see if you can give some information on what it's like to charter down here. You can pick, take this boat. We're going to take you down to the Keys uh, just because we have, you know, Laura's flying in. We have some friends and family flying in and out. Uh, so they'll fly in and out of Key West. We're based there for a couple weeks. But yeah, I mean, you can easily just take it across over to the Bahamas. Uh, well, across over to the Bahamas. Uh, you know, I mean, it's uh, take it for a week or two, go over there, have a good time. Okay, so now I guess you would like to see the boat. You guys want to see it? All right, it's 42 feet long. It's a fairly beamy boat. I believe it's just over 24 feet wide. So for only being uh, 42 feet long, it is pretty wide, uh, which gives it a lot of good space inside. All right, coming aboard, it has a pretty nice, comfortable uh, aft, aft cockpit salon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I guess the salon's inside. This would be the cockpit out here. But uh, I like how it doesn't wrap around too much, so you can get some airflow coming around. Um, haven't really been on the hook with it yet to see if the air flows around, because that's a problem with cats. Is often these cockpits, there's just not enough airflow coming through here and it gets pretty hot. Um, even if it's, I mean, cause it's blocking the wind. So it's hard to hang out here if there's any kind of heat at all. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. See how much airflow comes through here once we get on the hook and uh, have some fun with it. But I mean, it is really nice and comfortable, big and easy to get into all these seats and everything. A lot of times these tables can be hard to sit around. This one's not, it's pretty easy to get to. And then of course, you know, you have the big open door there window to help promote airflow coming through out here. All right, walking up to the helm station. It is kind of nice here. It does have an electric winch, uh, your standard winch here, and then all your uh, running lines uh, uh, come aft, which is nice. So you don't have to move out of the cockpit to do anything. I like it how you can kind of lean back against this seat right here, standing up, or you can sit here and be a little more comfortable. It's got uh, electronic throttles, um, which is kind of interesting. I haven't dealt with those yet. Nice big chart plotter up here, your engine instruments and your uh, navigation instruments right here. Okay, let's head up to the front of the boat here, to the bow. Um, you know, your standard trampoline, it's pretty nice and comfortable. It's got built-in seating right here, which is cool. Uh, it's nice and comfortable to sit here. You know, you throw a pillow up here in the evenings, man, it's cool to hang out and just, and the, you know, that's where you get the breeze. And this is where really, if you're gonna hang out with some friends and do all that in the evening, just have a couple beers or whatever, this is the place to do it. It really is. Forward on, e on each side, you've got storage up here. It's pretty deep locker down in there. Um, it's not like a captain's quarter. You, you couldn't really put a berth in there, I don't think. But there is a lot of good storage in there. You know, you store whatever you need. I do like that it has a bowsprit. Uh, you know, I don't think there's actually a spinnaker on this boat, but if I were to, you know, buy it or something like that, I'd definitely get a spinnaker for the boat, asymmetrical for the boat. And then you have your bridle kind of attached here for easier anchoring. And it's kind of cool. Not all the cats have seen them. You know, the Island Spirit I was on had them. But bow seats, bow speed, you know, you got to have that. Put a seat up here so you're hanging out while you're underway. Pretty cool. You do have more storage here. This, I think it's your chain locker down under there and your windlass controls and everything are in here. Uh, and more storage if you need that. All right, uh, let's kind of, okay, up here it does, let's kind of take a look at the, the mast and the rigging and everything. So all the lines run aft. 
um, which is kind of nice. So you can run all the lines from the cockpit. Uh, and then you know you got your starboard sheet that kind of loops back around over in there. It does it does have a solar panel. Um, although if I were to buy it, I'd probably add to it. In fact, this one's kind of old. It probably needs to be replaced. It's it's kind of got some weather cracking and all that. And it's amazing on uh, these solar panels. Just a faint little shadow or something like that can really just kill the whole uh, kill the whole cell. I mean the whole the whole unit. One if, if you knock out one cell, it really messes up the power for the whole thing. So it's it's best to uh, have nice good solar panels. But I put you know two or three more up here and there's room for it definitely all right it does have uh, two Yanmar don't quote me on this uh, Yanmar 40s I'm not sure I really don't Yanmar 30s Yanmar 40s I'm not sure which they are I'd have to look it up but it does have a generator which is nice the generator lives under there with the starboard engine um, and we can talk more about that a little bit later once we get inside all right, so let's go inside the boat now to the salon. It's nice and roomy. Um, I kind of like the layout. It's got the U-shaped galley. Uh, the seating over here can often be, on a catamaran, can sometimes be hard to get into. This is actually fairly easy to scoot around and get in back behind there. It's not too bad. And of course, that'll lay down and you can move the cushions over and make it a berth as well. I've already got my little uh, nav, sta or nav station. <laughs> uh, uh, editing station built right here. Uh, so this is where I do all my editing. And my brand new, haven't even flown it yet. Well, actually you've seen the footage already in the beginning of this video, but uh, so I will have flown it. I've time traveled and I've, I've done it. But this is a Mavic 2 Pro with the Fly More kit that I got from Scott and Holly at Sailing the Space Between. They're uh, among other things, they, have, they charter their boat out so you can do crew charters with them. Uh, and then they have kind of a drone sales uh, service as well. You can check out their YouTube channel. Uh, we did a video with them not long ago. So it's sailing the space between. There's probably a link popping up. I always forget what side it's on over there. One thing I really like on this boat is the amount of refrigeration. That's often a hard thing to find on a boat, but it has four drawers there. I think three of them are, you can figure, configure them however you want. Three of them are set up as uh, refrigerators and then one freezer, or if you want two freezers, three freezers, whatever you want to do, you just dial in the temperature and change it as you want. But it's really nice having uh, that much refrigeration on a boat. And then the U-shaped galley is easy for cooking over here. Um, you know, if it's kind of bumpy, you can be holding on here doing all this stuff. Really deep sinks um, with a faucet. Um, you got your cupboards over here, lots of storage underneath here. All these are all storage. Um, and it does have, you know, this uh, cooktop, no no oven built in, but you have this little uh, convection combo oven, whatever it is there, that does the same thing. Um, and then over here to the chart plater, you chart, chart table, you just have more storage and you got your radios. It's got this new Fusion um, stereo that, if you've ever dealt with Fusion stereos, are really good on these boats. I really like them. Um, it's got speakers here and here, and then speakers in the aft cockpit area. Uh, no speakers on the front. That's one thing I would change. Um, put speakers out there so that when you're hanging out in the evenings, you got tunes. One thing it does have that's pretty cool is it's got these windows that just go all the way around the boat. So the visibility is really good. Um, one thing I would do if I were to have this boat is I'd put curtains in. It has curtain sliders on both top and bottom for each window, I think, because uh, it is for charter. Maybe they just removed the curtains or maybe they got destroyed over the way and they just didn't get replaced. But I would put curtains up to keep some of the heat out because it will get warm in here. Uh, right now I don't have the air conditioner on, but speaking of being cool, it does have air conditioning. Um, it has three air conditioners. It has one for the main salon and then one for each hull, uh, which is really nice and they work really well. Um, I. I'm telling you, I mean, when you're out on the hook, it's not so bad. You don't really need air conditioning unless it's just oppressively hot and no wind. But in a marina is when you need the air conditioning because you're not lined up with the wind, right? Normally when you're on the hook, you swivel with the wind and so your your uh, hatches will open and scoop the air in. But when you're, you know, if the wind's coming from the side here, there's no air coming through. So you really need air conditioning if you're gonna be spending a lot of time in marinas, my personal opinion. It does have this really nice electrical panel. It's just got switches for everything, which I love. And it's got AC volts, DC, it's, it's got 230 amp um, powers in. Uh, so you got just readouts for everything, which is really nice. You know, a lot of the newer boats, you're seeing them do it all computerized. You do it on your iPad or there'll be a control screen, which is great. That's really cool to do. But I also would want manual backups. Um, on, on, I mean, it's just, it's a safety thing. You know, if it's on fire, you want to be able to turn switch off instead of fumbling for your iPad trying to figure out how to turn it off. 
Okay, so now let's go down into the holes and we can check out the cabins and the heads. I don't, oh, the air conditioner's on in here. It's feeling nice. Uh, I don't know which side I would make the master or or not. I probably I'm staying on the other side, so I guess I would say the master's on the other side for a couple different reasons. This forward berth is the bed is the same size as up there, but getting into it's uh, a little bigger here, so it's easier for guests to get in and out right here. Um, and also the step room right here is a little bit smaller than on the other side. Like on the other side, I guess because they have this this the stairs like another foot that way, it's just easier to get down in here. Um, but yeah, there's uh, you know storage here, here, lots of storage over there, and then these really comfortable like memory foam mattresses. They're pretty cool, and it's. For a forward berth, it's actually quite large. You can fit a couple people there. All right, as we head aft, it has its own separate shower. I will say the shower on this side's a little bigger too because the other one has a little notch that hangs down. But, you know, your escape hatch is here. It's kind of nice having a separate shower so that the other person can be right next door doing what they got to do in here. So this is a nice, large bathroom. I mean, if I can bring my gimbal in here and turn around, woo! pretty decent sized bathroom. All right, and then back to the aft cabin. This is, I like this bed better than the other side. It's maybe slightly bigger, but it is maybe harder to get into because you gotta go down the stairs, turn the corner, come over here. So that's why I'd make the other side the master. Uh, but, oh, these pipe side windows all open, so more airflow. That's kind of important. But coming back here, uh, you know, really large bed. I'd say this is at least a queen size bed. Um, it's got a little notch here, obviously. Uh, but it's really cool. I mean, and that's one thing often the aft cabins don't have much air coming through here But this you know has a hatch right there. So it's kind of nice and then there's air conditioning vents in all the bedrooms um, So it's really nice All right, so that's the starboard hull. We're gonna go over here to the port side now and show you that I've already been living on the boat for a couple days here. So excuse the mess But you can see how definitely easier to get down on this side more more room here and then the master cabin on this side is right here so that's kind of why i like that is i got the air conditioner on over here too it's so nice it's like 73 degrees uh nice big bed here queen size bed storage there under the bed and a cabinet over here um i like it it's pretty nice and part of the reason i chose this cabin is because it's right here i can pop up if something needs to turn off or on or whatever i got the electrical panel right there so that's why i chose this cabin just a little bit Oop, there you go and then coming forward you can see how you still have, you know, your shower just like the other side, your bathroom, your head just like the other side, nice and roomy. Um, I really, like I said, I just love how much space there is. Uh, now the forward cabin on this, the bed is the same size, but getting in there is a little bit more awkward. I'm using this one as storage right now. So if you had a guest, you know, you'd put them on the other side. Even if you have two guests, both guests, both cabins go on the other side. And this is, I'd turn this into like, closet or something if it was mine um, but you know it's still it's still a big good size bed so there you have it guys the alpha 42 catamaran pretty cool machine I wouldn't mind having her uh, she is for sale if you're interested and for charter uh, there's links pop I don't know if there's links popping up but there's a link in the show notes if you'd like more information on that to see how maybe you can take a take a ride on her we are going to be sailing this boat for the next two and a half weeks in the Florida Keys. So we're gonna sail down the Key West, maybe try if we can try to make it over to uh, the Dry Tortugas. Laura will be here in just a couple days. Uh, my uncle should be here in the next couple hours and he's gonna help me and we're gonna take off and head south. So you can look forward to all the some cool stuff. We got some friends coming on board in Key West. We'll have a good time in Key West. And uh, guys, uh, it should be really fun coming up. So stay tuned and the next video popping up for sailing, the next one that comes out for Sailing Doodles will be us sailing towards Key West. Before shoving off, it was a quick stop in the charter office. All right, I am here with Scott. He's the owner of Fun and Sun. Fun in the Sun, yeah. Fun in the Sun, Sorry, yeah. So uh, tell us, you got a charter company down here. How many boats do you have and what, what kind of areas do you service? Well, we're located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We have our own private facility here, and um, we have uh, eight boats under contract at this time and that are for charter. We have a number of other boats that we maintain as well. Um, most people will charter out of our facility for a week-long charter and sail over to the Bahamas or down to the Florida Keys. Um, they can do a one-way to Key West for an extra fee, or 
sail one week as far as Isle Morada or Marathon. They also, over to the Bahamas, they can sail over to Bimini for the week or do Grand Bahama and those areas. Is it, uh, is it much of a challenge? I mean, like, because I've gone into the Bahamas a few times on a, my personal boat, but doing it on a charter boat, is it much different, I mean, paperwork-wise? No, as far as, it's a simple procedure. You go into customs. There is a fee for customs where you pay a fee, and then um, uh, you get your, your cruising permit for the week. It's pretty easy. Okay. All right, so how many, how can people get in touch with you if they want, I, I guess they think you can even manage and charter their boats if they have one, too? Yes, absolutely. We, that's what we do, management. Um, if they're interested in placing their boat in charter service, we offer that. Um, they can get in touch with us either on our website. Uh, our email address is info at funinthesunyachts.com. Check out our website at uh, funinthesunyachts.com. All right, well, Scott, thank you so much, sir. All right. And I'm looking forward to the sale. All right, we'll have a good trip. All right, thank you. We have a lot of fun sailing ahead, so we hope you stay tuned. Please click that like and subscribe button, and if you'd like to get notifications every time we post a video, click the bell.